With seemingly all of the content for Assassin's Creed's latest installment, Origins, having now been released, I feel it's as good a time as any to start looking at the future of Assassin's Creed and what's next for the franchise. And as if the timing couldn't be more perfect, news has been running rampant in the last couple of weeks with rumours of the next Assassin's Creed being set in Greece following on from the development of Origins. Interestingly, this isn't the first time we have heard Greece as a potential setting for an Assassin's Creed game. So today, I wanted to talk about the potential of a Greece setting in Assassin's Creed, what it could mean, where these rumours originated from, and how believable is this latest leak. Will the next Assassin's Creed game be set in Greece, and when should we expect it? Let's get started. Assassin's Creed is a franchise that has very much been known to set up their games in errors for a several game period, from the Ezio trilogy being set in the Renaissance in the 15th and 16th centuries, to the Kenway Saga, Unity and Syndicate being set in the 18th and 19th centuries. There are several reasons Ubisoft have done this in the past, whether for story continuation purposes, as well as the reuse of development tools, gameplay and assets, it makes a lot of sense and defines the franchise for a period of time. However, this has had mixed results. With the Ezio trilogy, you had an era of games in a popular setting, with a phenomenal character telling compelling stories. While you have the colonial to industrial eras that had Assassin's Creed 3 in 2012, all the way to Syndicate in 2015, where the franchise just couldn't seem to get things right. With the notable exception, of course, of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, this was due, well, for many reasons. The different teams working on the franchise all at once, lack of story direction that arched over these games, the poor setting choices and the technical faults that come with the yearly releases, just to name a few. Now, with the resounding success, both critically and financially, of Assassin's Creed Origins, Ubisoft is in a great position with the future of their game franchise. They are appearing to put a stop to these annual releases, which will hopefully lead to more focused collection of teams working on the games moving forward, but what comes next with that? Well, if the past games are anything to go off of, Ubisoft will very well continue in and around the time era in which Origins was set, to continue to use and develop the many assets and gameplay mechanics that they have built from Origins for smoother development cycles in the next few years as well as continue to move storylines and plot points forward in which they introduced their origins. So after seeing Egypt during the first century BCE, there are several potential settings that could be done in and around that period to follow up that game. The main candidates for me being either Greece or Rome. These would make a lot of mechanical and development sense, as well as give the opportunity for the writers to continue to build the story of our new main character, Bayek of Siwa. If Ubisoft do this, it would be the first time making a sequel with a main game character since Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2, whose trilogy is held by many fans as the peak period of the Assassin's Creed franchise, myself included. Since Bike is such a popular character with the fan base, plus the longer development cycle, I feel now is the perfect time to have a sequel for a character such as Bike, set in a historically popular time period. I'd say Greece has a lot of potential. But, how realistic are the rumours that this setting is next? The first leak of a potential Greece setting goes back far further than a few weeks ago. In early January of 2016, both an anonymous 4chan post, which was then corroborated by Kotaku's ever-reliable Jason Schreier, accurately leaked details of Assassin's Creed Origins, its setting, release period, as well as several development details. The main takeaway when it comes to Greece being a potential setting in the future was a quote from the 4chan leaker. The quote said, The original game included Greece, which you can travel to, but it was cut out from the game due to scale issues, so the naval side is now a mystery to me. There are talks about making a trilogy of this same character, so they might explore Greece, Rome next, end quote. So from that quote, I know myself and several other Assassin's Creed YouTubers have been wanting a trilogy with these settings ever since, especially following the release of Origins, where we saw how amazing of a character Bayek is. Based on what else the 4chan leak got correct, I'd say at the very least it is likely that Greece was on the table at some point being a playable region. That doesn't confirm Greece is the next setting, but it certainly points us in the direction as to what Ubisoft is considering 
Which again makes sense based on all the development points I made before with Assassin's Creed's history of releases. If you want to read the 4chan post, I'll leave a link to it in the description. Reading it back now, it is crazy to see how much truth and accuracy came from that leak two years before Origins released. What's most interesting now, however, is the rumours resurfacing of Greece as a potential setting for the next Assassin's Creed game in 2019. The story came from a video game journalist, Liam Robertson, on comicbook.com, who reported that, quote, We have started to intercept the first rumours about it from several sources linked to Ubisoft. According to these rumours, the next game in the series is heading to ancient Greece, end quote. Next, he said, quote, The setting of Greece would chime with the murmurs I had heard from earlier on in the development of Assassin's Creed Origins, previously codenamed Empire. In 2015, there had been suggestions from Ubisoft sources that Greece might appear in the game, but that Egypt would be the focus. These same sources began to report that Greece would instead be saved for the game that would follow Origins." End quote. These rumours of course at this stage should be taken with a grain of salt. However, this report corroborates the 2016 rumours of Greece, as well as indicating the stopping of the annual cycle of Assassin's Creed games. But how well can we trust Liam's report? Well, I mean, quite a number of other news sites have been reporting these rumours, which certainly is nothing definitive, but does on some level show some reputability for Liam Robertson as a reporter, when his peers trust him enough to then report his story. Shannon Grixty reported it from Press Start, referring to Liam Robertson as, quote, usually a reliable source, end quote. Liam also notes in his article from Comic Book, quote, it's worth noting that one of our primary sources for this information also provided us with accurate scoops on the development of Assassin's Creed Origins, including its setting, final name, and even art from the project via a t-shirt, end quote. I'll leave a link to that second story he's referring to as well in the description below, as well as all the other stories. So Liam's sources for this Grease room are also responsible for previous accurate leaks of Origins. Again, this doesn't tell us anything definitively but it is certainly worth noting if you are arguing for the reputability of this story. The most major flaw in this story is the lack of detail though. Liam isn't necessarily reporting anything we haven't heard or know already, and quoting it from a source that has probably previously heard the same things that we have heard in the past several years, so it's hard to say whether this is new information or just old news being re-reported as current rumours. At this stage, it is really all speculation on whether or not these rumours are true. But I certainly see this story as a bit more believable and reputable than most people are giving it credit for in the Assassin's Creed community. The Greece setting makes sense. It is corroborated by previous reports and has, according to the recent reports from Liam Robertson, reputable sources leaking this information. So only time will tell to see what comes next though. The various leaks and rumours point to Greece as the most likely place the franchise is going next and sources reporting this are at the very least reasonably reliable. Though it is not set in stone in my mind, as definitely where Assassin's Creed is going next, it is certainly the front runner right now as to what you can expect from Assassin's Creed in 2019. At least, in my mind.